Hello everybody, uh, this is Rohan Naik Malik and in this video I'll be showing you how my Python 3 Tetris game works. So first, let's just run the code. So as you can see, we have an orange Tetris piece falling from the sky. I can move this left and right by using the A and D keys respectively like this. I'm using the A key and now the D key. We can also make the dropping process a little faster by pressing and holding the S key. Another thing I can do is I can press W to hard drop a piece like this. What hard drop does is it just moves the piece down until it touches something. Another thing I can do is I can rotate these pieces using the keys J and L. J will rotate left and L rotate right. So for example, now I just pressed L and now I just press, I'm pressing J. Another thing I can do is I can hold a piece using the key I like this. When I hold a piece, I, the piece gets stored in the top left corner and whenever I want, I can take it back into the game. So for example, suppose I want it right now, I just press I again and the current and held pieces get switched. Also, in the top right part of the screen, you can see the piece that is gonna come after the current piece. For example, once I'm done placing this orange piece, there'll be a green piece right after. On the right of the screen, we also have the score. There are two ways to score points in Tetris. The first is by hard dropping like that. And as you can see, that got us about 13 points. And the second way is by clearing lines. All clearing lines is, is making one line completely full and then Tetris will recognize that and will clear the line. Also, the maximum amount of points you can get in one go is 1,200 points, which is obtained by clearing four lines, and that's also called a Tetris. Finally, we can press either escape or delete to end the game if we want, just like that. And the program will also show the number of points we got in that game. So that is it for this video. If you wanna see the full details about the implementation, then we have shared that on the blog at learnopencv.com. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, then we've put a link to the post in the description. Thank you.